Hey guys, people. Oh, I know it's been a while. You gotta forgive me. I'm only human. I make mistakes, but I'm God's working on me. And just gotta let it keep working on me. But I'm gonna get this channel to a point where I'm gonna be able to really record and um really get things to move and looking for a place y'all pray that it comes to fruition i'm gonna put it in god's hands he can he know how to work it so i'm gonna do that and we gonna get us a place but yeah like i said there's always something god's doing he is just so good so good so good and i'm just here to let y'all know that you no know, Put your faith in him. Put your faith in him and you cannot lose. Whatever you do, whatever it seems like is going wrong, he, he can work it out in your favor. He's been working things out in my favor for a long time, a long time. I was just writing a letter to the first lady. And I always want to be an usher. And I was <laughs> 40 years. 40 years, I always want to, even when I was 13 years old, I was like, I mean, the thing, I mean, 13, it went, it's ever since I was 13 years old, and 40 years, <laughs> I'm up there, I'm up in age, you can see my little gray hair, but know what, God is good, he's always good, and know what, I thank you for every one of those years, because I know there is people that's younger than me. I mean, wasn't able to see 50 years, let alone 53. I mean, go to, you, you see some young people and go to the cemetery, look around. You see young people, very young people, 20 year old. 15 year olds, 16 year olds, 17, 18 year olds, no people, no people who haven't even really had a chance to enjoy life, to start life. I mean, I had a baby and I lost him within six months. No, he wasn't, he didn't even get to see the light of day. He didn't make it, but know what? The Lord wanted him. He said it he wasn't mine. You know what? I I'm not mad. I am <laughs> I am not mad at all. I thought I wanted <laughs> I thought I wanted four sets of twins. Yeah, maybe <laughs> crazy. I wanted two sets of boys and two sets of girls and the Lord said, Nah. You can't handle it. <laughs> so he didn't give me kids, but hey, I thank him anyway. I got nieces and nephews, lots of them. Lots of them I can put love on. Children in my church, I can just shower love on. There's always a child that needs some love. And I mean, if they don't need the love, give them more love. I mean, you can never give a child too much love. You never, you can never give a child too much love. I love kids. I mean, I thank God every day that I got nieces and nephews now. They don't stay little forever. I mean, they grow up and then they are pain. But hey, I think it's worth it to have something, you know, to just look on, look up on, and give love to. And I thank God that I have nieces and nephews to give love to. You no know, buy stuff for it. You no, know, I've got you no. Know, God children, God children that I can give love to. I can give love to, but they there. And know what I'm, I'm loving them. I'm loving them. I love them so much. But, um, they're great. 
<laughs> I can love on them. And you know what? Sometimes it's nice to give them back to their mothers after, you no, know, after loving on them, spoiling them. But I thank God for them. But I'm going to get back into telling y'all my story because, like I said, my story, my story never stops. My testimony never stops. I mean, like I said, when I open my eyes and I'm able to put my feet on the floor and get up and start my day, that's a testimony right there. That's a testimony right there because I remember times when I would just get up and just to sit up, it hurt it. It hurt so bad. Trying to get back and forth to the bathroom, it hurt it. And I remember the one time I walked to the bathroom, barely was able enough to walk back to my bedroom, back to my bed. Once I got, once I laid down in my bed, believe it or not, I could not move. I could not, I could not stand up. I could not put weight on my legs for nothing. I had my two baby brothers, the twin boys talking about, we'll carry you downstairs. Wait a minute. I weigh more than you both put together. <laughs> Y'all take me down the stairs, but I didn't weigh more than they put together. But I just felt, I feel, I felt that I weighed too much. I think I weighed about a hundred and a hundred and eighty. That was still too much. I was on prednisone, just fat. No, I didn't. No, I did my walking and tried to keep in shape, but hey. When they put you on prednisone, that's a different story. That weight comes on you and, whoo, trying to get off of you. I mean, I'm working on it now. I, I thank God I'm down, you know, nearly 50 pounds, still working on it. Still working on it. I mean, I want to get down 50 more. I think at 175, I would be okay. I'd be okay with 175, but the doctor probably tell me I'm still obese. But hey, you know what? 170 pounds, I stay obese <laughs> because I remember at one point I was down 100. I think I was down 170 pounds, and Mama Dope told me look like <laughs> she told me I had a peanut head. I was like, wow. But then Rose told me. <laughs> My head was too big for my body, so either too big head or too small head. But hey, you know what? As long as I'm living and making it through, that's all that counts. But I just want to check in with you guys and let you guys to know that I'm still. I finally seen the t-shirts, and there's gonna be some lucky people out there. That's going to get one of these lucky t-shirts. I'm going to show them to you next time I come on. I'm going to show you. I just need to twerk them a little bit because, no, they are beautiful. But I just want, it's a heart. And then the heart, it got a saying in it. And I just thought the heart was just a little bit too small. I want the heart bigger. But, I mean, it's it's a beautiful shirt. And I'm going to show you guys this, these shirts and, yeah. Lucky people's going to get them, and anybody else want, want one, no. They'll be for sale. I'm going I'm to be selling them. There's two of them. If you've seen, if you seen my, uh, if you seen my banner, my testimony, it's just my banner, my testimony. It doesn't have my name in it. It just says my testimony. You could wear that on your chest, my testimony, showing all the, all the the things just rolling off of you god got you if you believe that he will take care of you all the time all the time just if you believe it in your heart i know he take care of me because like i said that was one time i could not walk laverne henderson could not walk she could not even stand up on her her, on her two legs I could not walk, but look, look at me now. I just came from walking my five, five miles. I get out there and I walk five miles. It feels so good to 
Get out there and walk five miles. And thank the Lord for what he did. Now, I didn't thank the Lord enough. I should have thanked him and I should have talked to him. But being a part of the choir, I was, I was practicing the songs we're going to be singing. But I still, I'm still get out there, got to start back letting, praying to him. And then start listening to the songs we're going to sing. But like I said, I just wanted to come in, touch bases with you, let you know I'm still here. I still love you. And I'm not going to get back on it where I'm coming in after every walk and telling y'all what the Lord has talked to me about giving what he has said to me. Because he, like I said, he still talked to me. There's so much. There's so much he have did. Like I said, every single day is a testimony. And we should be out there telling our testimonies. Then the people know this, you need to... You need to hop on this bandwagon and get the joy you need because money can't buy you joy. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I'm happy. I don't got no money. <laughs> I tell a person fast. Only thing money going to give me is, is, is a first class ticket to hell. That's all money could give me, a first class ticket to hell. And no what? Uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I am not I'm not about to purchase that. It's not for me. And it's not for none of you guys. But I love you and remember you are somebody. Remember you are somebody. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.